This is Vi Blacks, and we are here live at the 2024 Legacy Awards celebrating black excellence. Um, as a storyteller, how do you bear the responsibility of telling the legacy of other people, cultures, communities? What a great question. As a storyteller, I feel like there's such a huge responsibility when people trust you with their stories. Um, and I take that very, very seriously. It means there's a certain degree of... Uh, of homework that you have to do. There's a certain degree of rigorous, critical analysis of the way that you're framing their stories. Um, sometimes you make mistakes, and that means you also have to uh, make amends for those mistakes as well, too. Um, and I just try to keep forcing myself to be better, do better, ask better questions, um, do a better job of making sure that I can continue to be someone that people trust um, to share their stories on platforms that I have access to and that I have the privilege to have access to. And as someone who was able to see for the culture this year, how do you feel about your own legacy as a mom and as, as a daughter and as, as a woman in Canada? Wow, what a huge question. Uh, I mean, I think being a mom shifted everything in a lot of ways. Uh, definitely made me think much largely, much more, think about the world in a much bigger way and think about the, the, the ways that I really need to shift things for my child. Um, I don't really think about my legacy beyond that, I don't think. Uh, I feel like I'm just continue to chase curiosity and chase the things that I'm curious about. I'm not a person that makes like five-year plans or 10-year plans. I just keep trying to chase what keeps me curious and wanting to stay interested and excited about the work that I do and and hopefully live a life that continues to fulfill that. Well, you should be proud of your legacy. You should. Thank you so much, Manda.